Good morning. I'm in my car again, on the road again, and taking you with me again. Today I'm going to Columbus, Ohio. Yesterday, Matthew had a, an appointment with the um, head oncologist of Tennessee Oncology, and something was going on in, in um, something they saw on MRI that wasn't right. So it turns out that to see what was not working the way they want it to work, so they're considering other options and it was a scary moment it's another one of those moments when you realize that you just have to keep on believing there are a lot of things that we still can do you know there's there's different medicines and thank god for that and then there's also um, diet and lots of natural things we are using frankincense oil on matthew and prayers my mom's healing hands, she's got this amazing energy. She used to heal me when I was a, a teenager. She would, she would uh, I had rheumatic fever, and it was her hands that would um, alleviate the pain. God gave us all these gifts that heal our bodies. And we just have to help Matthew to gather all of those gifts and pour it on him and on his body and help his body to heal. I'm in Ohio and I stopped just to have a little snack and to stretch my legs and to uh, actually play a song. I brought my guitar. I just felt like I need, I need to just take a few minutes. Yeah, I'm in a, you know, I have to get there. I have, I'm on a time schedule, but I need to take this few minutes to just breathe and connect. And since I had my guitar in my uh, back, I thought that's a good way to, um, to do that. Another thing that I love to do when I stop is to take my shoes off, of course not if it's a winter, um, to take my shoes off and just walk in the grass a little bit because that's, that grounds me, that gives me that sense of, uh, and it feels so good. It's really windy. And I'm having crepes, my mom's crepes. When you do have a treat, have something that's homemade that you know what's in there and have it occasionally and you know the the love that's put in that piece of dessert counts <laughs> counts it, it means a lot more than a piece of candy you can pick up at the store so i got to columbus uh, with plenty of time to spare and i had a wonderful dinner with my friends who are hosting this living room concert so this group of people is really cool. They came after the war in former Yugoslavia and they're all from mixed marriages. I'm glad to be here. They made these little ribbons. Um, they made them white for lung cancer. And I've done these concerts so many times, these benefit concerts for other people. And I just got really emotional thinking, this is for us. It's, it sucks, but we are stronger than we think and braver. And thank you. This is amazing. This is Zoran. Zoran Sokolovic. Zoran Sokolovic. He's, he's a legend. He's someone <laughs> very, very special. He was uh, competing, is it bobsled? Yes, bobsled uh, 1984, 1994, and 1998, last time in Japan, Nagano. And uh, I'm, uh, I like to say I'm very special, just like anybody else. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> but tell me about the, the, the team that you were on, the international team. All right, so, so I was a part of the team, multinational team, um, Serbs, Croats, and, and Muslims in the same bobsled sitting together. Uh, very tight one after another uh, as everybody knows what form and bobsled is and uh, and with no animosity we were pushing together pulling together in the same directions and proving that uh, things could be achieved when there is a you know common cause so we were fighting together to uh, and in, at the time actually brought a lot of daylight to the to the uh, war in, in Bosnia. Was that at the, at the same time as the war was going on? Uh, pretty much, it was 1994, so it was in the midst of the war. Wow, so see, 
you, you think we can all stick together and live together in peace? And of course we can. Of course we can. And, and we should. for Blaze's talent show. Last night was just really amazing. So these, the, the, my host, um, Vesna and Laden Penava, they organized this concert for their friend as a birthday present. And it was all of their whole group of friends from the old country, from most of them are from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And it's a, it's a wonderful group of people like I said last night, where they're all from mixed marriages, they went through the war, they're refugees, they first went to Germany, reinvented their, themselves there, found a new life, and then when uh, Dayton, a peace accord was signed, Germany said, okay, now you can go home, but instead of going home, America um, was welcomed them and offered them yet another opportunity and the stories that I heard last night I know Vesna and Laden's story they're they're just amazing people who will never forget the the love and compassion that was shown to them and so they become the same to others that's why these refugees that's why these people who've gone through so much are so bring so much to our world and you know everything that's going on today in our world how can we not keep that in mind and it's not because it's calculated okay I'll help you because no it's just a, a, a testimony of how mercy and, and compassion and love changes the world in, 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 in the long run so it was a wonderful wonderful night I sang a lot of my old songs and we cried and um, you know I, I played with my guitar which I'm always nervous about but it was so so wonderful and healing and connecting this is a nettle pie that Vesta made from the nettle that she grows in her garden I love that it's great Well, Blaze just called and first told me that he was very nervous about the talent show. And, you know, I said, yeah, I'm nervous too when I play guitar because it's not, it's different. And this is his first time. And then we had a crisis because I thought the show was at three, but it's not. The talent show this morning is at eight o'clock and uh, 8.30, starts at 8.30. And it's 7.30 right now and I'm around Cincinnati. and. There's no way I can be there. And Matthew has a doctor's appointment at 10. So I just got really, really upset. I got really sad. What's really beautiful is that when you're open with your children about your feelings, then they know that it's okay to feel sad. They know it's okay to feel nervous. The feelings become um, something that we embrace rather than we feel bad about, you know, feeling all these normal, having all these normal emotional reactions. And when we embrace those feelings, they no longer threaten us. And we can let them pass through, cry a little, you know, feel it, cry, find a solution, and then shift, move on. Um, yes, I'm disappointed, I'm terribly sad, and I cried that I'm not going to be there because I really wanted to be there. This was a good trip. I'm home. Now I have to unpack and keep on going. 
It was a good trip because there was a lot of gifts, just like every day brings these unexpected gifts. One thing that I saw at the uh, office, the uh, oncologist's office, was, you know, with, um, with cancer, everything is unpredictable, so it says be open to change. And I think that's not just with illness, that's for all of us, you know, be open to change, be open to um, see unexpected things in your life as opportunities for growth, opportunities to learn something about yourself, others, how you react, how you process, and what you do with what's given to you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little video diary and I'll see you soon again.